Hi guys, it's Eber97, and I just got my 3D printer. Uh, it's a PrinterBot Junior kit. So, uh, this is an unboxing, and then... that. Oh. I just got this in for UPS today. I had to wait two weeks to get it. Um, the PrinterBot Junior only prints in PLA, and I was told that the all right um, this is the PLA it's a uh, white uh, but uh, it's a 1.75 millimeters you can usually get um, you know, a kilogram of this for about 20 30 dollars and it'll last you um, this one looks like a translucent color and PLA is made from corn that's a lot it's a non-toxic and biodegradable. Um, it's a lot better than ABS for certain things. It's a lot more stable um, for heat, so you don't need like a hot bed under it. So it's actually a pretty good material. Um, so this is my printer bot junior bill of materials and all the materials that came with it. Um, and then all the laser cut parts on the back. This is my first time opening a 3D printer assembly. This is my first time doing this, so right, bear with me. Okay. So in here I have a cooling fan, uh, some cables, I'm sure this is what you feed the some, uh, something through it. Okay, and then we have the controller board. I'll take that out. I'll be really careful because this is an anti-static bagging for a reason. That's what it looks like. That's the controlling board that controls everything. It's open source. Printer bot. And it uses an Atmel 90 USB 1286. That's the uh, microcontroller on here. Uh, S micro SD slot right there. Okay. Put that in its bagging. Okay. Then we have all of our laser cut parts right here, and then we have our stepper motors. Um, I see that there's four stepper motors. There's three small ones right here, and there's one that's a little bit bigger. Um, and then I think this is the tip right there. Um, these are some metal rods in here. And then we have some gears and uh, some more laser cut parts along with some uh, some screws and bolts and uh, a ball bearing right there. Alright. And then we have, uh, see two switches right here. And we're almost done. I suppose this is uh, the power supply. And yes it is. Looks like a standard uh, laptop type power supply. 12 volts, 6 amps, it's a lot of juice. And then this would be the power connector right there that would go into your wall. Standard 120 volt American adapter. Some more nuts and bolts. And then some zip ties. Um, some more I think these are kind of like ball bearings, but they slide back and forth. Um, then there's two more ball bearings in here. And then there's another box. I don't know what it is. Let's open it up. Oh, cool. More sliders. Okay. I don't know why they put these in a box and the other ones were. It's probably some reason. I'm not sure. Okay. So that's it for the unboxing. Once again, this is a printer bought junior. Uh, kit. Uh, it retails for about four hundred dollars, three ninety nine, basically, uh, United States dollars. And this is open source, so I'm pretty sure you can make your own if you're really into that. But I just thought I'd just buy the parts. You can get these assembled for an, an extra hundred dollars. Um, that's true with all of their printers. Their printer bot. Uh, just go on their website. It's printerbot.com. Let's see if one of these things. There we go.
Yep. Printer bot. There is no E. Okay, yeah. So check out printer bot. Really cool 3D printers for a, uh, an affordable price. A lot cheaper than the Maker bot, which costs over two thousand dollars. This one only costs four hundred dollars. Uh, of course, it can it has a smaller build area, but you can get larger build area printer bots. So I will be making tutorials once I figure out how to assemble this, and uh, I'll I'll get tutorials on using like Google SketchUp and um, Tinkercad or whatever. Uh, so subscribe, uh, like this video, and comment, and let me know what you think. Alright, thank you. This is Zero97, and I'm out.